Hi, I've chosen to analyse a story about the formation of NAM, which we know as Port Phillip Bay. It's linked um, as a YouTube video under Baykeepers Time of Chaos, and that's how you can find it on YouTube as well. The story of how NAM was created centres around the importance of upholding and reinforcing cultural values and obeying historical laws which exist to maintain countries' delicate harmony and perfect environmental balance. This is a story of Bundrel's Law, which says for people not to harm, but to protect the land and children, and the serious consequences of not respecting these laws and cultural teachings culminate in a lesson to the locals resulting in rising sea levels taking their land. Sound familiar? Lewis outlines four key purposes of First Nations people's stories. So the first is dangers, second is relationships on identity together, and thirdly is the environment, and fourth is law and behaviours as one. Teaching children and reinforcing knowledge and customs within communities about culturally specific behaviours and manners, dangers, important environmental aspects including seasonal changes and culinary and farming ramifications, and the relationships between these and flora and fauna, and even weather patterns. Reinforcing complex seasonal and environmental laws, Andrews explains, would be specific to saltwater people inhabiting the land and water surrounding them, and also not restricted to the four seasons overlaid on the continent by Western culture as we know it. This, sto this story forms an integral part of interlinked songlines, not only for saltwater people, but also for freshwater and inland custodians in possibly slightly differing forms across country. The effectiveness of how this knowledge is passed on is dependent on some critical components, which include, and aren't limited to, linking and evoking emotion, and a sense of identification between the audience and the story and how it may relate to them in some way or ways. The story of the formation of Nam raises issues in human gr about human greed transcending the respect of the elders' knowledge and laws, both environmental and cultural. This articulates the value placed on the careful evolution and growth of ancient social hierarchies, where elders are entrusted with sacred and powerful information. In this story, an emotional crescendo is reached, with the ocean raging against the disrespectful and greedy inhabitants, claiming their land to become what we now know as Nam. Boon Wurrung Elder, Nawit, Carolyn Briggs, recounts the consequences of human greed and disregarding the rules set around, dis around respecting quantities of fish to be caught in relationship to the time of year. And not just that too. This story links the connection to country, mentioning the time of year as being the fish breeding season and the law that during this time only a limited number of fish may be responsibly taken from the ocean in order to maintain an environmental balance. It's here that the defeated inhabitants turn to their elders for counsel and advice to rectify this situation that they've brought on through their own actions and disrespect for their cultural and environmental laws. The elders have been trusted and bestowed with the knowledge and wisdom to communicate with country, and in this instance with the ocean, and the elder Bunjil stops the ocean from riding, rising any more with his staff. With information only communicated orally, the storyteller's ability to paint memorably vivid and relatable imagery with words to stretch generations is paramount. In addition to words, these stories may have been sung or acted out or even told with great drama and emotion by a skilled storyteller or elder. It's easy to imagine kids playing out this story while swimming in the ocean, pretending to be the fish. Andrews also highlights the importance of elders mimicking animals, not only as a non-linear method to enter into dream time, but also because, quote, they take on characteristics of the ancestral beings when they are portraying becoming in tune with the oneness that pervades all things. Stories can also change purpose over time, and in the case of Jacinta Kulmatri's story on the Yamati she tells in her TED Talks video, without becoming too sidetracked into another story and the story specifics, conveying this particular story effectively at one point in linear history once meant the difference between life or death, and the impact, the impact of the advent of time 
and extinction also, has changed this purpose from a danger warning to one of historical and cultural importance, and possibly also behavioural, as means to ensure children don't venture too far away, and to pass on the information about past species and their relationships to ancestors.